What was that? That's the thing that killed my man. Alien. Well, they just won't let the 80s die. The Predator is back in 2018 with their new rendition of the aliens that come down and hunt. But this movie has somewhat of a different spin on it. And I'm wondering if you guys are going to like it. And we're going to discuss it in this video without spoilers. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you are down every time we drop a Life Gains video with an email and a notification because this is definitely the most dynamic channel you're going to find on YouTube covering everything to help you get Life Gains. Fitness, finance, movie reviews to save you money, cord cutting. If you really, really like my content, why don't you go on over there to that Patreon and make a donation. Us brothers tend to have it hard getting donations on Patreon. And follow me on the Stardust app. I do 30-second movie reviews over there. You can do the same. And let's jump into this review. What's good, YouTube family? You're in the building with the sexy as hell host, Lamont Tyson, yo old Uncle Mont. We're doing a Stream It or Beam It review of Predator, the 2018 version. Let me just go on ahead and put on the plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell so we can talk about this one right here. By the way, these are in Shop Life Gains um, website if you want to go ahead and get some. <sighs> I couldn't tell in this movie if I was watching a MCU style comedy or was this supposed to be a horror movie. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw that on out there. I'm not gonna give away spoilers so you don't gotta worry about that. But they really are trying to garner the, the MCU lightning in the bottle of making comedy in movies that possibly don't need comedy. And so y'all know that they made the last Predator movie in 2010. This is the new rendition. It takes place in today's times. Instead of being out hunting in the jungle and all that, you've got predators that are hunting right here in the suburbs, man, in the burbs. And the government has gotten wind that the predators are all around. If you don't know the backstory, they're supposed to be like a hot season back when the story first originally started, but I guess through global warming, it's hot all the time here on Earth. So you got the predators that are lurking around and the government is trying to figure out how to get them. And a team is built to go get them. Y'all know my man Sterling K is in this movie. Sterling K Brown, he plays on This Is Us. I love that guy. This story was written and directed by Shane Black who was on the original Predator. So you know, it had a little bit of street cred. And throughout the movie, we're gonna talk about the storyline. Um, basically, like I said, it's instead of it running by a old alien storyline where excuse me an old predator storyline where the predators was coming to earth they was hunting this one feels more like an alien invasion storyline that's kind of what you're going to get from this movie and the pacing of the movie uh normally you would see me having orgasms about fast pacing but on this movie i didn't because these are some interesting characters and because the movie moves so fast, when some of these characters die or are gone, you don't really feel invested into the characters. I mean, like you just kind of, okay, oh well. You know, you don't feel it because the movie is moving so fast. Some people might love that fast pace. On this particular movie, I wish they would have slowed the pacing down. Now, you know, this movie has got two predators. You've got one predator who's basically a fugitive who came to Earth, and I guess he was gonna to try to start his little command here, seek refuge. And then you've got their ultimate predator who's basically like the new predator, the upgrade. Kind of, if you follow Marvel, Captain America, the super soldier, you've got that predator. And both of those predators played an excellent role in this movie. I really, really enjoyed the dynamic of those two with the other characters. So let me tell you what works in this movie. Traditional summertime violence. It is a great, violent, entertaining movie, and they add a whole lot of humor to a lot of the stuff going on. I almost think it's too much humor, 
because there was times when the audience was supposed to feel sympathy and apathy for what was going on on the screen with someone dying, people was laughing. Now that's when you've done take your humor too far. I mean, people was laughing at the killings of certain people. Um, you're gonna get a lot of blood, a lot of action. Like I said, it's very, very high paced, high intense. But overall, if I had to say whether you should stream it or beam it, I'm going to probably say wait until it comes on whatever your favorite streaming device is and you wait and watch it then. I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. I mean, like I said, it's high pace, lots of comedy, lots of killing, lots of gore, but just not an overall good enough movie that I would say go break that bread. And with us people here in Eastern North Carolina, being stuck at home it definitely ain't worth your ass going out there on a paddle boat if you we get a flood or having to battle 50 mile an hour winds to get to the movie theater it ain't worth that you just stay home be safe wait for the stream to drop and enjoy it then unless you just love that violence if you love that violence if you want to see the happy marriage of violence and humor getting down then you go see it but other than that, y'all, take this life game and save your money. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Please share, share, share my content. Check my video description box. Check out my affiliates. Check out who I'm doing business with. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.